Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello, or should I say, yeah. I am so excited about today's video because today I am dipping my toes in ooh, the queen of yeah. I am finally dipping my toes into Ariana Grande's new makeup brand, REM Beauty. In my head, it actually makes a lot of sense for Ariana Grande to come out with a makeup line because she's always serving the looks. She's here to give it to you, honeys. I think she's always been known for her flick, her eyeliner, but I feel like lately she's been really expanding her beauty, changing up her hair, changing up her looks, and this REM Beauty makes total sense to me. And this line has a lot of product. Liquid eyeshadows, highlighters, palettes. There is a lot to talk about in today's video. So many of you wanna know what I think of these products, and I promise to give you my full 100% honesty. I love Ariana. Okay, she is gorgeous. I would love to glam her one day. I would love to, Ariana, if you are watching this, um, if you ever want to join me on my channel here, please, please, please. But my love for a certain person will never influence my hardcore opinion. Okay. <laughs> so I promise you that I will give you my full truth if I like a product or not, what I think can be enhanced. Are they good or are they bad? Let's find out together. So before we dive into REM Beauty, it is time to give us a clean canvas before we get started so we can really focus on what's going on in this launch. Not only did Ariana Grande launch a brand, but I also launched a brand. <laughs> And I just wanted to give you a heads up that my brand, Nimya, now has a special Black Friday offer going on. If you order some Nimya, on Nimya.com, you can get the bundle, so the Nimya bundle, where you get all the products, plus a Blow Before You Go fan for free. If your order on Nimya contains the bundle, you will get free shipping. Shipping can get really expensive, and when I tell you that we went the lowest price we could possibly go for our products, I promise you that. Like we could not, oh, we got some weird old start screaming in my roots. The price point we were able to put our products at is the lowest we could go. So unfortunately for now, we won't be able to give you any discount on the products themselves because we priced them so, you know, reasonably already, but free shipping if your order contains a bundle. So what are you waiting for? Get your Nimya on. <laughs> okay, once you've applied the Nimya Red All Starts Cream and you're very dewy, glowy, and gorgeous. I now like to go in with the brr, brr, cooling eye stick. And I use this to de-puff and moisturize my dry under eyes, but also this acts as a great, great primer, the concealer on top. Yes, I'm ready. Now let's get some foundation on, shall we? I'm using my favorite at the moment. This is Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear. This is a 30 hour wear foundation. It's full coverage, it's a blessing, I love it. All right, let me quickly apply some concealer in the brow and then we can focus on REM Beauty. Okay, the base and the brows are done, so now we can finally focus on REM Beauty. Focus on me. Something that immediately catches my eyes are these right here. These are the liquid eyeshadows. They come in shimmers, but also, and this is really interesting, in matte finishes. So let's see what Ari has to say about them. Little REM Beauty Bible, okay. Our long wearing, that's good, powerfully pigmented, waterproof, Okay. Shadows come in a range of matte and lustrous finishes for universally flattering effects. So there's a bunch of shades. I received four in the PR package, and I wonder if these could be used as an eyeshadow primer. Let's see how they perform. I'm so excited. First, I'm gonna go in with this matte brownish shade, and this is called Sup. Uh, like, Sup. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Up. And as far as packaging, I'm not mad at this. I think this right here is pretty cute. It has a nice clear see-through window to the actual product, a clean white cap. It's simplistic and like easy. Now some of the other packaging in this collection I have some opinions about, but more on that later. Okay, I'm gonna put Sup on the back of my hand. That is crazy pigmented. Then I dip my brush in and I start blending this into my crease. I never really use cream or liquid products as like the fundamental base of my eye look, so this is gonna be interesting. It's very pigmented, but it also blends away very softly. 
Like it shears out pretty fast if you want it to. Okay. Mm I feel like they dry pretty fast. Like I've been working for like a minute and it's already dry. So I gotta pick up some more and let's see if when I layer them, more pigment comes off. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh, please blend. Oh, please blend. Really trying to perfect the fade of this outer portion here to make it nice and smooth and perfect. I mean, it is set right now. Like this is not gonna budge. Like it's it's set in stone. It's not going anywhere. So that is a good start. Is it easier than powder eyeshadow? I'm not sure, but hey, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's gonna be a real test to see if at the end of this video, the liquid shadows haven't like gone into my crease yet. So if at the end of this video, it hasn't creased, I know it's gonna last because usually it takes only like 20 minutes for it to like go in there. And I would say that is the case with everything in my life. It takes about 20 minutes to go in there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> now for the lid, I wanna take a shimmering shade. Look at that, very gorgeous. They're like Instagram like gorgeous gal. This is called Comet. Comet, like kill the dinosaurs. Oops. And I'm also putting this shade on the back of my hand. And that is going on the lid. Tapping that on, okay. I expected a bit more punch. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's arrived, people. She is in the building. First thoughts is that I expected a bit more, like, ooh, an ah. And then once you try to, like, perfect the shape of this, it kind of, see, kind of lifts off the product, leaving you with, like, nothing. The more I want to, like, perfect the shape, the brush is picking up the product and not putting it back down. So me trying to like blend in a little cut crease moment is actually removing. See, it's almost removing the product. Oh, mama, mama, mama. I'm not sure about this. I mean, it's pretty. It has a beautiful shine. It, you know, it stays there, but I just expected a bit more like you know, this is a look, and I know a lot of people will like this because it's softer and more subtle, but you're watching the most terrifying makeup junkie right now. Like, I love the full glam. I want it all or I want nothing. You know what I mean? I kind of expected like a little bit more like reflective shine coming off of that. So we've got these little palettes right here. This is called the Baby Doll Eyeshadow Palette. It has um, six beautiful neutral shades. Like, this is your like everyday like, oh, Yes, kind of glam. This packaging, okay, with all all due respect, okay, your honor, I'm your honor, I'm your honor. Um, all due respect, this feels cheap. This is the type of sort of like silver packaging that scratches really easy. Like I already have a couple of scratches, see, in the silver. It 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 has a little bit of weight to it, but it 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 just I don't know if I like this. I get that we're going for like the space sort of vibe. You know, this collection, the PR package came in a space helmet. So I'm getting the like space connection and it looks like sci-fi and it looks like, you know, but again, you're talking to the girl who came out with neon orange and blue packaging for her brand. So it's like, can you really compare no. <laughs> you know, I like a lot. I like colorful things. I like things that stand out to the eye. And this just, it's its okay. What do you think? What do you, like honest, true tea, what do you think of the packaging of REM Beauty? I like these. These are cute. These are clean. These are simple on the eye. This is like, mm, I want sugar in my coffee. I, I told you. I told you in the intro of this video, I'm gonna give you my entire honesty. I'm sorry. So I think it's time to set that liquid shadow with a bit of this powder shadow to see how it holds up. Okay, let's take it out. We're gonna pop that on top of the liquid shadow we just applied. That shade is adhering beautifully to the liquid shadow and it's taking it to where I wanted it to be from the get-go. Then let's pop a little bit of this lightest shade on the inner corners to open up. That's a pretty color. Ariana also came out with Kohl eyeliner pencils. I have a black and a brown, and I think I wanna pop the brown in my waterline to create like a nice smoky lower lash line. And then I'm also gonna 
apply that straight onto the skin right in between those like lower lashes the roots let's smoke that out a bit then from that little palette i'm going to take the darkest brownish it's kind of like a mauve brown shade right here and use that to further smoke that out okay pretty pretty pigment blends very easily creates a little bit of fallout on the skin but nothing dramatic where it's like oh my god i can never get rid of this i have nothing bad to say about this eyeshadow palette so far like it's very nice, very easy shades to work with. A very like beginner friendly formula. Like they're pigmented, they're doing their job. Another thing in this collection is the eyeliner marker. This is a felt tip eyeliner pencil. Um, and I have high hopes for this. Like I said, I think Ariana is known for her wings. And I feel like if anyone is gonna bring us an iconic eyeliner marker, it's gotta be Ari. Yeah. Ooh, very black. Glides on super easily. Like the the pigment, like the actual like eyeliner fluid. <gasps> sounds disgusting. Like the actual eyeliner stuff comes out of the felt tip very easily. It sounds wrong. It's not like bleeding out. It's staying in place. Oh, high hopes. Oh, that is black. Mmm. I mean, leave it up to my girl Ari to grab us by the eyeliner wings and say, I got you. I got you. This is how an eyeliner marker should work. This is, ooh. Okay, let me extend that inner corner a little bit. Ooh. Yes, yes. This is giving, it's giving. The next product is this right here. This is the REM Beauty Mascara. And I honestly doubt if I should even like try this. I have the worst lashes a human could ever imagine. Like my lashes don't go up. They've drooped down, they're short. Like finding the perfect mascara, I haven't found that one yet. And I doubt if this one is gonna be it, but we're gonna try. Okay, and then once I have the mascara on, Ariana also came out with two sets of lashes. We've got the Grow and Show, and we have the Eternally Meowing. Okay. Makeup gods. First we coat the tips, just the tip. Okay, tips, and then we go to the base. I never do mascara on camera. What's going on? Please don't droop down. Please don't droop down. Oh, you're drooping down. No, stay up, stay up. Come on, stay up, stay up. You can do this. We believe in you. You can do this. So the mascara definitely coated the lashes very pretty. It's nice and black. And I feel like if you have good lashes to begin with, this would be great. But if you have my lashes, which are pathetic little lashes that don't have any purpose. This is not great, doesn't work. Should I just do the softer lash just to throw everyone off? <laughs> These are soft. Like they're a little bit more intense than an Ardell Wispy, but they are soft. Okay. <laughs> oh, she's natural today. If you are like me and you love an extreme lash, which I know is not the case for everyone, this is, probably too soft for you, but also kind of pretty. Like, I feel very like, oh, Hollywood glam. Like, I could walk the carpet right now. It's all very approachable. It's so far pretty easy to use. So I definitely get the approach to REM Beauty. I think a lot of Ariana's followers are on the younger side. So I feel like this is great for younger people to still look young but have fun with makeup so i i like this approach and i see myself looking soft for once <laughs> all right so here is the eye completed what do you think let me know in the comments down below right now what you think and i'm gonna be right back i'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then we can play with the highlighters and the lip products now it is time to go in with the highlighters which i've heard a lot of people talk about so i'm excited to finally try it for myself in my pr package i received miss mercury she looks like this right up my alley. Ooh. And Miss Neptune. Oh my God. The makeup junkie in me desperately wants to just drizzle this all over my face. 
but because we're going for such a soft, more approachable look, I think I wanna put Miss Mercury on the cheeks and put Miss Neptune on the inner corners of my eyes. Ah! Let's do a little bit like right here. Oh, cuteness. It's like a soft lavender purplish blue, which is lavender. Nice, soft sheen. See how it's like very subtle? So very wearable. Oh, I like this a lot. Now, I know I already kind of mentioned it with the eyeshadow palette, but this packaging, ugh, you either love it or you hate it. I'm not so sure about this one. I don't, this feels a little too light. And again, this sort of like chrome silver finish is very, very, fragile when it comes to scratches and like chipping off. So I feel like as far as this packaging, REM could have done a little bit of a better job. Mm. But I also know that most of you just care about the product, what's inside. You don't care about what's on the outside, about the outer shell. You care about the inside and that makes you a beautiful person and I'm so proud of you. <laughs> so let's focus on what's on the inside. So now I have Miss Mercury and that is going on my cheeks. So. Oh, 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 oh. And oh, 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 Ariana. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is so good. It's a very soft texture. It's very creamy. It packs a punch. The sort of shine and reflect in it is what I wanted to see in that shadow, in that liquid shimmery shadow. This is nice. Now it is time for the lipstick with the infamous packaging. A lot of opinions have been shared online about this packaging. And right here, it's like a little astronaut helmet. You can peek into the lipstick inside. Now, you either love it or you hate it. This, I love. That little peek through, that little like, ooh, what's inside? I don't mind this. Somehow I like this way more because it has like a unique sort of twist to it. The color I have received is Wine and Dine. It is a beautiful, dark, mauve chocolate brown. <gasps> oh, that is going on so easily. That is going on so smooth. Whoa. I cannot believe how easy that was. And I know you don't see this lip color on me often, so enjoy this moment. <laughs> Look how smooth. Oh my God. Now this is the part where I say I do want you. For lip gloss, I have this right here. This is the REM Beauty um, Plumping Lip Gloss in the color. VCR. This is just a pretty sort of like medium nude gloss. And oh, why did I open this up thinking it was gonna have a wand? Ah! Oh, I do not like this applicator. Okay. Oh. 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 I think the gloss is very pretty. It is very shiny, very juicy. It's a plumping lip gloss, and I do taste and kind of feel a menthol, sort of like minty taste and scent. It's not like crazy tingly or crazy plumping. It's just a nice sort of like fresh breeze on the lips. It's like, oh, it's like fresh out there. It's like, oh, it's, oh, it's windy. It's like cold. It's like, oh, hello. It is not sticky at all. I mean, she also came out with this. This is the REM Beauty Plumping Lip Gloss, um, like a clear, and I wonder if this is like more plumping. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Oh, so the, oh, oh. So this is a thicker gloss. Oh, she's starting to tingle. Why do they call this the plumping gloss when this plumping gloss does so much more plumping and tingling. I feel it stinging. I feel it working. <laughs> it is a thicker formula than the other gloss and that shine, my lips look wet. I did get a little bit of the plumping gloss on the tip of my tongue. And the tip of my tongue is saying, whoa, what's going on girl? <laughs> Okay, Ariana, that lip, I do have the product on my tongue and it's spreading more towards the back and I'm starting to think if this ends up in my throat, it might get really feisty up in here. <laughs> okay, who's ready for my final thoughts? Let's go. The matte liquid shadow, I'm actually really impressed by. It, it looks like I have regular 
perfectly blended shadow in my crease, powder shadow in my crease, and it looks really nice. It was easier to use than I anticipated. Usually when I don't have a good primer on, I crease very easily and I see no creasing. So we have found a product that stays on and doesn't crease and actually works great. So the matte liquid shadows, I enjoy, I would give that like an eight out of 10. The shimmery liquid shadow, however, I feel like could have used a little bit more love. Maybe it is this particular shade that I'm using, but it I feel like it could use a bit more chrome, a bit more reflective particles to make it a bit more interesting. Now that of course is because I love the full shebang. I love the full glam. So I want it to be like a full on metal on my eyelids. This unfortunately, isn't my favorite and I would give this a five out of 10. The eyeshadow palette, if you look past the packaging, that is totally up to your opinion. I have shared mine. If you look at the quality of the shadows, I feel like they're a perfect entry to a brand. They're pretty shades, which I feel like are gonna work for a lot of people out there. And it's just, it's a, it's a great eyeshadow palette. Like there's nothing wrong with it. I will give this a um, seven out of 10. The Cole eyeliner pencil isn't really all that special to me. House Laboratories make my favorite ones. They stay on for hours upon hours and you have the most pigment after one swipe. This, uh, nothing crazy out of the norm that makes it super special. It's good, but it's not like revolutionary or super different. So I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. Now the eyeliner marker. Oh, honey, I feel a favorite coming up. This is super black. It is very easy to apply. It doesn't bleed out. It is a staple for in your collection. I am such a fan of this. I love the finish of it. It stays on, it even stays on on the inner corners where usually it tends to bleed very fast for me or kind of like stamp down. Um, I give this a nine and a half out of 10. <laughs> oh, the mascara. I wish it worked for me. I'm just sad that my quest to find the perfect mascara for me continues. I'm gonna give this a five out of 10. I'm the problem, it's me, not you. Bye. The highlighters, I'm actually really, really impressed with. Um, Miss Mercury is going in my daily kit. I love, love the glow it's giving me today. It's giving rich, it's giving lusciousness. I, I love this. I saw that they have a green one and I need to order it now because I want to see what that looks like on. The highlighters are a favorite amongst all these products. So I rate them a nine out of 10. The lipstick. Like I said, you either love or hate the packaging. Somehow I love the packaging on the lipsticks. The finish is amazing. It is a velvet matte lipstick that glides on. You saw it. You saw it happening. It glides on so easily. I love these and I can't wait to order some more shades and wear them on a daily basis. I even like this shade, weirdly enough. I feel like my mom used to wear this shade in the 90s a lot and um, in the early 2000s and I, I feel like mama tutorials a bit and I, I don't mind, I like it. I would rate this a nine out of 10. They're really good. Now this plumping lip gloss in the color VCR is, like a standard pretty gloss. It has, you know, it has a beautiful color. Uh, not a fan of the way this is to be applied. I like a wand. I've said this, I just like applying my lip gloss with a wand because I feel like you have way more control. It's not revolutionary or that different compared to other things I've seen. So it's kind of like, yeah, to me. And that's why I'm giving it a six out of 10. But this back girl right here, this plumping gloss, the clear one, is here to stay. This one is going in my daily kit. I like this one a lot. This gets a nine and a half out of 10. And I feel like that wraps up my REM beauty review. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what your favorite products were. Were you surprised by any of the products or the finishes and what products were a letdown to you? Let me know in the comments down below. I wanna thank you so much for watching today's brand new video. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. <laughs>